Hello everyone, Dana here from Dana's Electrical Services and in today's video, I will be carrying out a demonstration on how to check if your capacitor is discharged or not. So let's not waste any time. I'm just going to jump right into this video. So the first thing you're going to do is ensure that your source is terminated from the capacitor. And this principle is for any type of capacitor, whether it be the cylindrical type or the cubic type, the principle remains the same. So, as I said, the first thing you're going to do is ensure that your source is terminated from the capacitor, right? After you isolate the source from the capacitor, remember, we are not sure if the capacitor is charged or not. So you are going to avoid making contacts with the terminal points. These are the two terminal points. You are going to avoid making contacts with these two points, right? On the capacitor. By the way, this capacitor is not charged. It is new, so I know it is not charged. It is discharged fully, right? So after we do that, you're going to go ahead and carry out a voltage test but before you carry out the voltage test you're going to check the voltage rating and the capacitor and ensure that your voltmeter is on the correct range my voltmeter is auto ranging so i'm good right and this is ac voltage so you are now going to put your voltmeter across the two points and your capacitor if you get zero voltage your capacitor is discharged but if you get or let me go again if you get zero voltage your capacitor is fully discharged right it is fully discharged and ensure that you touch the points properly because you might get some false reading and assume that your capacitor is discharged when it's not so if you get zero and a good thing to do to ensure that your meter is working correctly is to put them across a known source. A known source, you know that source is energized. Put it across it and ensure that you get a reading. Then go back and go to your capacitor. If you see zero voltage, your capacitor is fully discharged. But if you get a voltage reading across the capacitor, that means that your capacitor still has some charge and you need to safely discharge the capacitor right and after you safely discharge the capacitor then you're going to go ahead with your voltmeter and check it again across the two terminals and ensure that you get a zero voltage reading right and when you get your zero volts reading you know that you're good to go you can touch your capacitors to terminal if you want you can play with it you can do anything you want you can play tennis you can play basketball no don't do that with a capacitor but you get the point so there you have it guys that is how you check if a capacitor is discharged or not and this was another video brought to you by Dana electrical services for more videos like these please feel free to subscribe to my channel at Dana's Electrical Services. I appreciate it. Thank you.